I'm not blaming on the ten. I'm saying that I think the hang of the ten is gonna be a little more work than you think. All right. Yeah. Welcome back to the two fourteen main project. We're moving right along. It looks like a freaking bomb went off in here, essentially. But we are finally making progress, right? Mm -hmm. Does it feel like it? Yeah, and I haven't done You're busy. much besides help with the beams. Yeah, so the, what you can see some of behind us. So these barn beams, old barn beams, are the ones that will essentially hold this next floor up. Well, it is holding it up I know. right now. Yeah, no, I know. It is. It will. It is. No, it is. It is. Currently. So anyways, they came out of a barn that my dad tore down like 30 years ago. So kind of cool to be able to reuse them for something like this. And uh, I, they have enough character and everything that we like don't need to trim them out with anything, which is nice. So do need to hit them with a wire brush and kind of get some of the junk off of them. And I don't know if we really need to seal them. Like with a coat of polyurethane or something. Different problem for a different day. Um, so we are feeling much more structurally secure than we were previous. Uh, we don't have a new roof yet, but that is coming next week. I think new roof comes next week. We have, we got the rub, we have all the material, we have the rubber and the insulation. Yep. So $8,000 later. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. We uncovered the original floor. I guess we didn't talk about, that wasn't, it's been a while since we recorded. So we uncovered, we pulled up the plywood. You guys, if you watched the rest of the episodes, you've seen, you know, there was a hole in the corner over here where it was rotten out and everything. Um, but so part of the deal when that was getting fixed was we pulled up all of the plywood that was on top of the floor. So the sub floor. Yeah, the subfloor of the the other floor. Two layers. Anyway, it revealed the OG original 140 year old wood floor. Full of staples, full of nails. I've already spent about four hours pulling them out um, and had the blisters on my hands to show for it, even with leather gloves on. But it's gonna be super full sanded down and redone, don't you think? Mm-hmm. We were able to salvage. There's some of this same floor upstairs. Um, and so like where we're gonna put the bathroom and stuff, that's gonna be tiled anyways. And that's where um, some of the original floor is up there as well. So we can rob some of that and put it down here to patch up some of the spaces. And then bathroom in that back corner, we've already cut up some of the original floor to use as a patch over here in this corner. So it should work out. We'll see what happens. Well, we don't necessarily have to patch this because it's going to be walled right, off. because of the stairs and everything. Um, but there's certain sections. There's a big hole in the middle of the floor over there. Because I got to imagine there's a dumb waiter or something that was there. That was the way that they got supplies from downstairs to upstairs. Because, yeah, I think the stairs at the back didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Previous. Like, the stairs would have been at the front and would have been out of the other building. So... Anyway, um, the there was thing. another situation where they just cut the floor joists. Yeah. And <laughs> With no, no additional bracing. <laughs> uh, no bracing, no reinforcement. We had some of that up in that back corner up there where they put the plumbing for upstairs as well. So, yeah, sort of a miracle some of this has not fallen down. But the bones are good. But the bones are good. What's been the most expensive thing so far? The roofing materials. Yeah. LVLs. Yeah. Or custom order. How long were those? We got a 30 footer, a 26, a 14, and a 12. Mm -hmm. It was a long board, but that's what had to be done to make things structurally sound. Next week update will be obviously the roof. Um, hopefully, do we have any idea when we're going to be looking at like electric and 
temperature and all that. It seems like it's getting cold. Probably need to figure out HVAC. Well, we'll set up a temporary furnace. Hmm. To keep things warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes me feel a little better. Just once the roof is done and any, everything's fair game to get going. That was the major hurdle for us to do a lot of things, I think, was getting the roof done because we just kind of at risk of ruining whatever you did. Yeah. Once the roof is done, the building is not subject to collapse. <laughs> So it's just, roof is done, we could just leave it and say, it's not gonna fall over. And when the roof is done, then it feels like slightly less stressful because of that fact of making everything nice and sound. So that then you can get the rest of your projects done for this year that you already have committed and on the books, hopefully before it starts to freeze really, really hard. And then, once the snow flies, which will be probably sooner than we're ready. I mean, I think it was snowing in Minneapolis. Just, I know. Last week. Just last week, so they can keep it. We've done, there's a lot of work that's been done. There's a lot of freaking work to go, um, but at least it finally feels like we're making progress. And things, like I said, do look like an absolute freaking hurricane came through here at the moment, but um, damn contractors. Damn contractors. They're the worst. There's a lot of good progress that's been made. Upstairs, downstairs, structurally, which you know is the biggest part. Yeah, this thing is completely shored up now. Yeah. It's not going anywhere for another another 140 years. Yep. We do have a lot of like cosmetic decisions to make in terms of moving out walls in the front um, so that we can get a separate entrance or the apartment because eventually, you know, if in the relatively near future or later future, we want to rent that apartment out to someone, um, it is important that we have an outdoor separate entrance to the offices and stuff because I, I think these offices will remain our offices for longer term and possibly we will live in that apartment upstairs, but hard to say. Once the roof is done and all this bracing has been completed that I don't have any like experience or much knowledge on doing. Once the roof is done, then it is pretty much to a point where I could take over. Someone snapped me some lines for the, the um, baseboard and the top plate and just start framing, so. Yep, but again, it'll be a It'll be a case of you have to go make hay while the sun's out, as they say, because the landscaping stuff has to be the priority. We gotta be cash flowing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, well, and there's more work right. to come my way once all the crops are out. Yeah, for sure. So, but inevitably there's gonna be a stretch of rain days or inevitably the snow is gonna start flying and just wherever you got to is wherever you got to and then Winter project. Mm -hmm. Don't sound so excited. Might take a few days off. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Hmm. Just sit. Just sit. Watch Netflix. Where? Either at my parents or. <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to just take a few days off and sit in your apartment? And watch Netflix. Well, my apartment is not a thing yet. I know. I'm usually very optimistic, usually too optimistic, especially with my landscaping projects in terms of completion dates. Might take a hit on my ego every now and then, but I think that the apartment can be done by the end of May. This will not be done. Apartment's getting done first. I agree. This can sit like this for a little bit longer. I agree. Because we can still, you can still do all the computer work and stuff in the apartment. But honestly, like there's not a ton to do down here either. I mean, the exposing, I mean, the, gate, the, exposing, the exposing the brick, the brick is going to be. No, I bet that'll take 12 man hours, 12. 
calories per person. Six bowls of bread? Yeah. Okay. What's it gonna take forever down here then? In the 10. It's gonna be fun. I think that's gonna be. Why, why is that gonna be so difficult? I don't, I guess I don't understand. Well, we're gonna have to use ladders. Yeah. Or a lift. Okay. Or um, scaffolding. Okay. So that means you do one section, you gotta get down, you gotta move. Do one section, get down and move. You got to figure out where the lights are going to go and make sure you mark it or make a map. But you are going to have to do that no matter what well, yeah, you I do know. for the ceiling. Yeah. So don't blame it on my tin. I'm not blaming on the tin. I'm saying that I think the hang of the tin is going to be a little more work than you think. Whatever. We find out when we find out. All I'm saying is there's like not multiple rooms to do in here. It's just things. Figuring out we're gonna, what we're going to do with the front wall. Well, that's going to have to be figured out long before. Unless you think you, we can just finish the apartment without having to do that stuff yet. I feel like it's easier. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get the roof done first. We can figure the rest of it out later. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? Are we going to like show them the, the things? These? not been up here since things got framed. This is exciting! Oh, oh the plaster? Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. What do you call those? I think there's a word. A, a, uh, a flap or whatever. Yeah, lathe, lathe, lathe. lathe boards. They come off all right, don't they? that like a next week project or no okay this is uh when i'm done landscaping project okay sweet because I've, I've already told greg once the roof is done we just need to chill for a little bit so i can gather my bearings and figure out a plan transition Bedroom wall. Woo! Anything else? No. Nope. Moral of the story is things are moving. New roof coming soon. Before the snow flies, before it gets cold. So we are structurally sound and secure to then really go hog wild this winter. Mm-hmm. Probably like December-ish. Somewhere like January-ish. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out after the roof. Fine, planning is not our strong suit, apparently. Thanks so much for watching. If you have anything to say, you have anything to thanks for watching? No. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you are liking, subscribing, all of the things. So you can keep up with our progress. And if you are not following us on TikTok or Instagram, check us out at the 214 Main Project. And if you are already following us on here, make sure you keep up with our shorts where we do a lot of updates. That is all for now. We will see you guys next time.